Hi, everyone. This is Mike Talks Cars Podcast, Season 2, Episode 3. So, this happened today at CES. This morning, I watched Mary Barra, the CEO of General Motors, deliver the keynote address at the Consumer Electronics Show being held in Las Vegas. I had high expectations, as GM has been pretty quiet about announcements for the past while, and with the whole world watching, I expected to see Mary come out swinging for the fences. We not only got a look at what's coming for 2023, but a good sense of the vision GM has for a zero-emission world. Let's start with a marketing slogan we've seen for months now. An EV for everyone. Having watched the keynote, the impression I got was that they mean everyone, including businesses and fleets. Products like the quick peek we got of the Chevy Equinox EV that is planned for a starting price of just $30,000 U.S. and will be available in 2023 makes you believe that they mean what they say. It was clear that GM plans to make electric vehicles that bring far more than just zero tailpipe emissions. Each has been designed from the ground up as an EV, inside and out. We saw a lot of great things. The one I was most excited to see, however, was the truck. I liked what I saw. When the new Silverado EV pulled out of the shadows and I got a look at the styling, my first impression was, this doesn't look like any Silverado I've ever seen. It looks a lot like the discontinued Chevy Avalanche. At least the general body shape was like that. Avalanche was a very popular vehicle in Canada, less so in the U.S., but had amazing versatility. If GM wanted a vehicle form factor that embodied capability, performance, flexibility, and design, they did a really good job. Silverado EV is what they call a new body architecture, with the Ultium battery pack integrated into the structure. They talked about Silverado's comfortable and confident ride, with up to 664 horsepower and 780 pounds-feet of torque. With 400 miles, that's about 640 kilometers of range, on a single charge. It will come with standard DC fast charging, giving it the ability to add 100 miles of range in 10 minutes at a fast charger. 0 to 60 times are under 4.5 seconds. The suspension can raise and lower the vehicle 2 inches, providing clearance when needed and low center of gravity for on-highway cruising. Capacities at launch will provide 10,000 pound towing and 1,300 pounds of payload. After release, they will have a version capable of 20,000 pounds towing. Everyone has been impressed with Ford F-150 Lightning's power usage, and Silverado holds up well in that category too. There will be up to 10 power outlets that can deliver 10.2 kilowatts of power for the job site, campsite, or even power your home in an emergency. You can also charge another EV if you needed to. A few of the versatility specs. There is a large front trunk, a 5 foot 11 bed that will have an available lockable tonneau cover, a flex gate behind the second row seating that can stretch the load floor to 9 feet, and when used with a multi-flex tailgate, you get 10 foot 8 inches of load deck. Interior space accommodates people well over six feet tall, even in the second row, and the fixed glass roof makes the interior seem even more spacious. On the dash, there is a 17-inch LCD infotainment display, an 11-inch instrument display, and an available head-up display to keep your eyes on the road. Available hands-free start automatically starts the vehicle once you're in it. Super Cruise will be available, along with GM's new Ultify communication system, for information and over-the-air updates. The first model that will be made available will be the work truck, early in 2023. It will feature 510 horsepower. The base model will have a starting price of $39,900 U.S. dollars, plus freight. The RST model, which is much more upscale, 
will be out by fall of 2023. This Silverado is innovative. It is not an electrified pickup. It is an EV. Reservations start today for the RST model. I apologize that today is all about GM's announcements and Mary Barra's keynote. However, there is so much that interested me. For example, GM's talk about carbon-neutral products was only part of their focus. They also focused on driver safety through autonomous vehicle development. Mary talked about Super Cruise that we already know about and is available in a number of vehicles today, and the next level, Ultra Cruise, which will bring door-to-door autonomous driving to virtually all paved roads in the U.S. and Canada in the near future. GM even suggested that there will be fully autonomous vehicles for the masses much sooner than we might have expected. Mary talked about Ultify, over-the-air communications for vehicle updates, and talked about in-house software development that has been happening to make GM much more versatile and responsive at the vehicle level. Overall, I was really impressed with the announcements and the passion GM is showing here. Talk about a change in direction for a huge company. Over the past two days, I've been talking a lot about Tesla and how the public has given them the status of Dragon Slayer when it comes to EVs, with GM and Ford being the Dragons. I have postulated that the big three, including Stellantis, were not going to take that lying down, and that we would see them roar back to life with all the resources they have available to them. This battle is only just begun. I think the balance will be much more clear by the time we get to 2025. I'd like to kind of wrap things up with a quote from Mary today that really impressed me and that I hope I wrote down correctly. She said, we don't have to imagine a zero emissions future. We are building it. We should. We can. We must. This is Mike Little reminding you that, hey, selling is fun. Go have a great day. 